Paul Fermo, uh, Vice President for Product Development with Ascent Aero Systems uh, here at Avalon International Air Show. Thanks mm -hmm. for joining us. Yeah, now, we, I'm not too sure this might be on our Australia in Space TV or our My Security TV. Okay. Um, but either, either way, we're talking about some uh, vertical takeoff and land okay. drones. Introduce us to the Helios. Yeah. Well, the Helios is a derivative, or, it's a, or it comes from our legacy of, of a lot of engineering, uh, a lot of work on our larger coaxial platforms. Uh, a Spirit and what you see here is our NX30. So we've been around since 2011. Uh, we've been building uh, coaxial drones now, we've delivered over 700. And we've learned a lot about what it takes to make one of those work really well. And we've, uh, we've put some of that engineering expertise and experience into our now newest Helios version, which is a sub 250 gram coaxial design uh, for operators from military to law enforcement. Uh, to really to, to industrial, yep. to any operator. And I take it it flies out beyond line of sight as well? Well, it certainly can fly beyond line of sight. Yep. Of course, there's a regulatory environment that requires yes. some things to do that, but it certainly has that capacity to do Well, it. here in Australia, there is a RPIS working group uh, mm -hmm. with law enforcement. So they are looking to sort of move beyond sort of the CASA regulations mm -hmm. and the like. Uh, but this one here, when you say sub 250 grams, is it 249 grams? 249 grams. There you go. Okay, Very specific, work. yeah. Yeah, okay. And that's designed to be carried by, say, a first responder and right. just takes off. Is that, are they, do they control it or does it hover? It can be what, controlled what? in different ways. Yeah. Our, our initial entry will be a LTE or cell phone controlled vehicle, uh, but we'll also have a radio, uh, an RF vehicle as well. Got it. Uh, so the idea here, the, the scenario or the context that we're thinking is a law enforcement operator potentially or a soldier wants to see what's over a hill or behind a fence or just needs to really get some surveillance or reconnaissance yep. airborne very quickly to assess the situation before that person moves into it without knowing what's there. Nice. And so the Helios allows, it's, a, it's an inexpensive variant, it's, it's compliant with NDA regulations uh, with the US government. And so each person can have a small Helios on them, quickly get it airborne, assess the situation, and make smarter decisions faster. So we want to give operators hands-on ISR when they need it. Nice. And how loud is it? What type of sound is it's that? It's very addition? quiet. It's 40 yeah. dB, which probably doesn't mean a lot to most people, but yeah. it's about uh, sort of an ambient noise level. So after a few meters, you can't hear it. Okay, nice. And things like altitude and the like, is there any limitations? Well, we don't have, we haven't out, uh, tested the altitude on that yet, but I can tell you that the airspeed is very impressive. So with all of our coaxial designs, you get a, a larger rotor disc area. So by comparison to a similar multi-rotor system of the same size or weight, you get greater disc space, greater disc area, so a bigger bite of air, which means by comparison you can fly to much higher altitudes and at much greater speeds. Nice. And duration, how long does that stay in the air? Over 30 minutes at okay. this point, yeah. So nice. very good duration uh, on the capability. And also uh, distance from the operator? Well, distance is a function of two things. One is the endurance, but also yep. the radio range that you can control it from. Some radios will go, or RF uh, capability, command and control, will, will go a few kilometers, some much more than that. But if you're controlling on LTE on a cell phone, you can control it as far as your cell phone goes. Yeah, so right. literally on the other side of the world, if you have a cell phone connection to it. And uh, so the Helios is the small one, but the design looks almost uh, precise right. in terms of, right. what's this one called, the large one? This is a, our NX30 RX, vehicle. Okay. It has a 30 pound or 15 kilogram maximum takeoff weight. And then we uh, our flagship version is the Spirit, which is in between the two of yep. these, which has about a six and a half pound maximum takeoff weight. And the operator plan? Operator platform is the same. Can you operate multiple machines on the you same can. platform? Yeah, and that's all software, and that yeah. part of the industry is evolving very, very rapidly. So we've done what people refer to as swarm oftentimes, yes. but essentially it's one to many, one controller to many vehicles simultaneously doing different things, and we've been successful with partners doing that in many different scenarios from a military context to firefighting context to, uh, to all different things. Yeah. Is that capability here for the Helios? You can launch multiple uh, Helii? Yeah, Helios. Um, yeah, what, what's the sort of yeah. capability now? Yeah, so our next uh, our, our next entry or, or, or our next capability will be a drone in the box solution with our Helios. So yeah. we'll have multiple systems in that drone in the box and be able to fly them out of that one box. Beautiful, very good. Yeah. Well, look, Paul Fermo, Vice President, Business Development. I had you That's down okay. as Product Development. That's okay. uh, but here with uh, Asset Aero Systems. Enjoy the rest of the Avalon Thanks Air Show. Thanks very much.